life insurance. I hate talking about life insurance. Um, I mean, I'd rather talk about anything else. Homeowners saving you money, finding a better price, auto, that's kind of fun. But if we're talking about life insurance, I'm actually talking to you about you dying and all the devastating, terrible things that are gonna to happen to your family because of it. So like I said, I just soon talk about just about anything else. Um, I mean, the reality is it's actually pretty important coverage. I mean, if you think about it, you cover your auto, you cover your boat, you cover your house, you cover your motorcycle or whatever, or whatever else you have. And if the boat sinks or the auto gets stolen and the house burns down, the family's okay. It's not okay if you go. And so life insurance, even though, like I said, we don't want to think about it, it's really important. Uh, I think another thing that turns people off with life insurance, um, and that should be enough to begin with, but, uh, you know, there's hundreds of companies and probably thousands of different plans. Um, it's really not confusing if you if you just kind of understand it, it, it it's actually where you have term is on one side and term is the cheapest you get the most bang for the buck I mean a 30 year old can get a million dollar coverage for about two hundred dollars a year actually um, it gives you the most bang for the buck but it goes up each year and it has to be underwritten each year the other end of the spectrum is what they call whole life whole life it does lock your age in so it doesn't go up each year due to age uh, it has the life component and it also has a savings component and it's used to uh, you know there's a use for it now that's about 5 10 20 times more expensive per dollar coverage as as the other one so it's not for everybody and everything else is in between and so it's it's called universal life so it's just it's very very simple you have one end and you have the other i guess it's simple but it's also confusing um, life insurance can be confusing and how do you really know that what you're looking for is what you're going to get? Um, finding a good agent is very important. When you're looking for an agent, try to find somebody with lots of carriers. The more carriers, the more options, the more prices, usually, you know, more underwriting. Um, make sure the agent has a good reputation. Look for four or five star ratings, uh, you know, and um, or reviews, I should say. Uh, look for A-plus ratings with Better Business Bureau, Trusted Choice. Um, while you're at it, try to find somebody nice. Who wants to deal with a person that's uh, snobbish or stuck up and, and kind, of, kind of intimidates uh, to where you don't feel comfortable opening up with them and, and talking to them? Uh, it doesn't cost any more to be a nice person than, than a jerk. Um, and look for somebody with good experience. I've been in the business for over 25 years, and life and health is really what I started with. Um, so I guess the point is, is whether you go with us or find somebody else, try to find a good agent that has your best interests at heart. You'll be happy you did.